Hello, this is Danny Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another uh, episode review. This is going to be for episode 7 of season 3 of Arrow Draw Back Your Bow. So, yeah, before I begin though, on the episode review, it tends to be spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those that have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, I'm going to stop the video, go check it out, and come back here and watch the rest of this review. And yeah, no, I just thought I just thought I had like a deja vu movement, but yeah, if you haven't watched the episode, go check it out, um, don't comment down below, you'll be messaging me, that never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I, I did, so yeah, quick synopsis, X and just X and then rate. So basically, in this episode, you have the proper introduction of... Carrie Cutter, aka Cupid. So she's been seen in previous episodes, more or less, but this is her first proper full on introduction. Basically, she's this ex law enforcer who was saved by Arrow, um, by Arrow, and what happened is that she fell crazy in love with Arrow, with what he does, who he is, and she's basically Arrow's stalker, and she basically would not stop at anything to get to Arrow. Um, also, the side story, you have Felicity, and he, she goes on a date with, um, she goes on a date with, with, um, what's his name, Paul, right? No, um, shit, I forgot his name, Ray, Ray Palmer. Um, yeah, she basically goes on a business date with Ray Palmer, um, for the Argus Project, um, or the Adam Project, which are, I mean, both of them are applicable at this point. And, you know, she's basically describing him, um, you know, how he's a good man, good businessman, that he, when he wants something, he, he does it, he doesn't bullshit, all that good stuff. So, yeah, and then you also have, like, this kind of parallel that Air, um, Arrow says to Cupid that sometimes you just can't be with the person you want to be, and Felicity just happens to be hearing at that point. So, yeah, pretty interesting, ep interesting episode. I did like the parallels between the, you know, between the re re relationships. With, uh, you know, with Ray and Felicity and then Felicity and Arrow and then Arrow and Cupid, that was a pretty interesting love quad, not love triangle, but love square, I guess you could say, Lo a love square. Um, so yeah, you know, the parallels are pretty interesting. I think that was one of the most interesting thing uh, throughout this whole, um, throughout this whole um, episode. Uh, oh, and also before I forget the side story with the flashbacks, you have, um, you have Aaron Katana and the they're out on the hunt to get Katana's husband back because he's been out of the house for a couple hours, longer than the usual, and at the end he returns um, safe and sound. So yeah, overall it was a pretty good episode. Not the best episode in my opinion, it wasn't the best episode. I did like all the stuff with Cupid. I do have to say that was the best thing throughout the episode. But I also did like some of the stuff with Katana, but I just didn't really feel the the other story with Felicity. It just seemed kind of not. It, it, it was okay. It gave development to the character of Ray Palmer, but it could have been better handled better, I think, in my opinion. So yeah, I mean, the action in the in the episode was pretty good, well done, especially with Katana. You had this one one, one action scene with Katana. She's like she has her like sword, and she's basically like wipes out like ten ten dudes who have guns or something, and it's just pretty cool. So yeah, the action scene in this one was pretty um, well to point out. Um, they do make a lot of references, especially to the Suicide Squad at the end of the episode, so that's pretty cool. I did like it, um, especially since I'm, re I'm currently reading the Suicide Squad run right now from the New 52, so yeah. Um, anything else to mention about the episode? I think it was just good. They had some development for Ray Palmer, not the best development, but could have been... Shit. I'll pick that up later. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that could have been better, but... um. Especially that, which just happened, definitely could have been better with this there, but whatever. I'll pick it up. Hopefully it's not too damaged. Okay, back on topic. The character development was okay for Ray Palmer. I do think it could have been better. Uh, same for Felicity. I do, the parallels were okay. Um, it was good. I think it could have been handled better for some of the for some aspects, but overall it was good. All the Cupid stuff were pretty good in my opinion. I did like it. And then the ending was one, one of the most, uh, up to now, from season 3, the one of the most what the fuck endings, because they have Captain Boomerang. And he's basically going to be a major character for like the next two or three episodes of both Arrow and The Flash. So he's going to be around for at least the next three 
three episodes of, of Arrow plus maybe three episodes of The Flash. That's about six episodes, give or take a few, depending which ones he comes on. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. Yeah, Captain Boomerang comes, and really, I I heard Captain Boomerang. I'm like, that's that's ridiculous. I kind of read up read a bit about him on the, uh, from the wiki and whatever. I thought you know he's interesting, but still kind of ridiculous. Then I saw him on the show, and I'm like, shit, this is something that to be taken seriously. So yeah, um, so far pro a good proper introduction for Boomerang. So yeah. I mean, overall, it was a good episode. It could have been better in some aspects. It was great in other aspects. Overall, good episode. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent. Um, I give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. It could have been better in some aspects. And again, it was great in other aspects. But overall, it was a pretty good episode. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on your thoughts on the episode. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And this is Daniel Mark signing off, and I will go hang my poster again. See ya.